Busby, the misbehaving bee. Busby, the misbehaving bee, was always breaking the rules. One night he made so much noise working on his hive, Hermie the caterpillar couldn't sleep. Busby didn't care. I'm king of the bees and I'll do as I please. And he did. The next morning, Hermie and Wormie stood in the garden talking to Lucy Ladybug and her twins, Haley and Bailey. Suddenly, Busby buzzed by so fast that it turned Hermie, Wormie, and Lucy upside down. The twins laughed. Who is that? Haley asked. He's so cool, Bailey sighed. Lucy Ladybug told her twins, stay away from that misbehaving Busby. But the twins didn't listen. Hermie and Wormy decided to show Busby the garden golden rules. Busby shook his head. I'm too cool for rules. I'm king of the bees and I'll do as I please. And he left. Busby broke all of the garden rules. He even dropped acorns on the ant's hill. And all the while, Busby said, I'm too cool for rules. I'm king of the bees and I'll do as I please. And he did. Hermie and Wormy prayed to God for help with Busby. God knew about Busby. I've known many like Busby who don't like to follow the rules. Busby doesn't understand that rules are to keep him and others safe. Rules are the way of saying, I love you. God promised he would talk to Busby. Busby took a sip of honey and smacked his lips. I'm king of the bees. That's me. Then he heard a voice call his name. Busby. Who said that? Busby looked around. Who is talking to King of the Bees? It's God, Busby. I'm the king of everything. You should follow the garden golden rules. But Busby didn't want to listen to God. He flew away. Later, Busby met Haley and Bailey at the big fence gate. Let's open it, Busby said. The twins stepped back. We're not supposed to open the gate, Haley said. I'm too cool for rules, Busby said. I'm king of the bees and I'll do as I please. Watch me. Slowly, Busby opened the gate. First, there was silence. Then a rumbling. Then a shaking. Then a quaking. Then, standing before Busby, Haley and Bailey was a big, big frog. Big bully croaker, Haley screamed. Run for your life, Bailey shouted. Quickly, Busby and the twins flew away. The big frog hopped through the garden, smashing everything in his path. Oh no, he broke my beehive. Busby was sad. Busby, God said. But Busby didn't want to listen to God. Busby flew away. When the ants found Busby's broken hive, they did what would please God and put it back together. Meanwhile, other garden bugs had seen the open gate. Big bully croaker is on the loose. Run for your lives. Hurry, everyone. Go to the anthill. We'll be safe underground, Hermie said. Just as the last bug made it safely inside, they heard a thump. Big bully croaker plopped down on the door to the anthill. Everyone inside was trapped. When Busby saw that the ants had fixed his hive, he felt bad about dropping acorns on their hill. He prayed, God, I'm so sorry I broke the rules. I promise to obey them from now on. Will you forgive me? Of course, Busby, God said. I love you. That's why I have rules to keep you safe. Then God told Busby to rescue the others, and this time Busby listened. Busby flew toward the giant frog. Big Bully Croaker tried to grab Busby with his tongue, but Busby pointed his stinger at the frog. Let my friends go, Busby said. Now, bees don't like frogs, but frogs really don't like angry bees. Big Bully Croaker jumped off that anthill and quickly hopped away. Everyone thanked Busby for rescuing them. Listen up, Busby said. I'm sorry I broke the garden rules. Now I know that rules are cool. Will you forgive me? And they did. God was happy with Busby, too. From now on, Busby would listen to God and follow the rules.